It's Saturday the 14th of February and I'm packed. This is my arrangement at the moment. It'll probably change again. It's pretty heavy. Well, it's very heavy. <laughs> but I've got lots of equipment and stuff. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure I'll lighten the load as I go. First few minutes and it's really wet. Just drying my tent from yesterday's rain. Well, I made it to my second campsite. I'm just drying things off from yesterday. Still everything's, yeah, it's almost dry. But I was hoping there'd be water here. There's two creeks on the map, and we had heaps of rain yesterday, as you probably saw. But completely bone dry. So, I went up the creek just before. There's a tiny little bit of water with it bees are drinking from. If I dig enough in my water filter, I might be able to get enough. I'll go see. At first I thought it didn't look promising. As you can see, it's a pretty dry creek. Well, it's working. <laughs> Not very quickly though. And I've got a lot of bees to continue. So. But it's water. That's for sure. And you don't have it. Well. You know how precious it is. It's a nice road. to the conclusion already that I have to lighten my load. So I'm going to have a rest day here somewhere and then probably head back to Redonga and get rid of everything absolutely what I don't need. Which means I probably won't take the drone. It's wait. Starting to get up into the mountains, just. Still climbing. for a little bit. It's been a fair bit of climbing. Got to right. Not enough room for that truck, is there? Well, this will be my campsite for the night. Just past Tommy on the way to Whitfield in a pine plantation. Anyway, just after five o'clock. Time to set the tent up and continue tomorrow.
Sweet Home Sweet Home looks like in the middle of a pine plantation. It's not bad, because you're very protected in a pine plantation. As long as you find in the middle of the road one flat spot, which isn't that hard normally. That's lunch. Blackberries today. Blackberries for lunch today. It shows that you can go down the other side as a four wheel drive track. A bit like this, supposedly. We'll see. That's a view. Got to go down to the bottom there, around there, up and around, and then around, and then dodge me up back there, and then come out of there. <laughs> Golden delicious apple tree. Juicy. Mm-mm. Very nice. Real nice. Now today, climbing again. Heading towards Lake Buffalo. Mount Buffalo in the background. Wedge tail eagle. Yeah, that's perfect to me. A tree, a river. Okay, 
Okay, this is today's campsite next to the Buffalo River, just out of Nurnaford, about 30 kilometres. Mashed potato for lunch today. Got the solar panels charging over there. And it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's early, but 100 kilometres back to Wodonga from here, and well, 3 o'clock, and it's going to take me 5 hours, so yeah, I'll wait till tomorrow. Anyway. We'll sort things out and then head back to the Bicentennial National Park. I wonder what that's for. Bit of a foggy start today. The sun's about to come through very shortly. It was good seeing that wedge tail eagle just before. Couldn't get any shots of him in the sun though, unfortunately. But oh well. Not always to be. Next. That's Lake Buffalo. And Mount Buffalo in the background with the plateau at Mount Buffalo. Another beautiful day out here on the bike. 20th of February. 